The month of April is Child Abuse Prevention Month. And while our dedication to and vigilance to end all child abuse is constant, this time allows us to focus just a little more together on these efforts. This month, we are reminded of the call to be instruments of justice, working for the common good, including securing the protection and well-being of children. As Jesus entrusted the care of his flock to Peter, so too are we charged with the responsibility to care for all God's children and all vulnerable people among us. One out of every four girls and one out of every six boys is sexually abused before the age of 18. These individuals are all around us, as well as in places we have yet to reach. They are longing for hope and healing, waiting for the care and compassion of Jesus. As St. Teresa of Avila once said, Yours are the feet with which he walks to do good. Yours are the hands through which he blesses all the world. And if not you and me, then who? Reaching out to victims and survivors of abuse is critical in bringing the hope and the love of Jesus Christ to them. We are here and we continue to provide anyone suffering from abuse with the steps towards freedom from that abuse and towards healing. We also play a critical role in victim outreach by offering support, compassion, and prayer to those we know who have been abused. How we prioritize carrying out these acts of charity goes a long way in creating a culture within the church where children are safe, protected, and where victims and survivors find healing. As we continue to place our hope in the resurrection of Jesus, I invite you to pray the following prayer with me. The words will be on the screen. Please follow along. God of endless love, ever caring, ever strong, always present, always just. You gave your only Son to save us by the blood of his cross. Gentle Jesus, shepherd of peace, join to your own suffering the pain of all who have been hurt in body, mind, and spirit by those who betrayed the trust placed in them. Hear the cries of our brothers and sisters who have been so gravely harmed and the cries of those who love them. Soothe their restless hearts with hope. Steady their shaken spirits with faith. Grant them justice for their cause, enlightened by your truth. Holy Spirit, comforter of hearts, heal your people's wounds and transform brokenness into wholeness. Grant us the courage and wisdom, humility and grace to act with justice. Breathe wisdom into our prayers and our labors. Grant that all harmed by abuse may find peace in justice. We ask this through Christ, who is our Lord, forever and ever. Amen. I now share with you a prayer and blessing for you and for every individual in our diocese. Lord God, your own son was delivered into the hands of the wicked. Yet he prayed for his persecutors and overcame hatred with his blood shed on the cross. Relieve the suffering of those with us today. Grant them peace of mind and renewed faith in your protection and care. Protect us all from the violence of others. Keep us safe from weapons of hate and restore us to tranquility and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. May Almighty God bless you with his mercy, strengthen you with his love, and enable you to walk in charity and peace. May the Lord keep you, protect you, and deliver you, your families, your parishes and communities from all harm. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>